Hey, hey, everyone. It is JNA coming at you this morning. Hello, Alicia. Hello, dear friends. Hello. Okay. So um, today, just FYI, before we forget, we have the um, we have the cookbook for sale this week, you guys. So from Monday to Friday, cookbook is on sale. Um, so check it out. Look at the link. Um, so if you're just like, look, if you're, if you missed our 10 day free trial and you're still looking to like be up in my mind, it is 25 bucks for the, the cookbook. I'm like, why aren't you just becoming a member? And then you have access to all the things for the holiday. I know of I, I'm still amazed that people want to, to buy our cookbook, to be really honest, but they do every year. And every year people say to us, can I buy just the cookbook? Can I buy just the cookbook? So yeah. here, here we are. Here we are giving the people what they want. They've been yeah. asking for it. So it's a downloadable um, e-cookbook, guys. We could not print a cookbook for you and then mail it to you for $25. It's 200 oh. recipes strong. 200 recipes. I have made zero of them. Literally zero. And even if I did, like, I would like tweak it. Like it's to the point where I'm like, what, what happened that I'm like, oh, it's just, again, my friggin' need to not be given advice. Someone said something and I was like, I think it was just like, I didn't want to be told what to do. So I didn't do it. Like, I don't know why I'm like that. Um, born to born to be the leader. I feel like it's just what it is. Well, hello everyone. Before we started pressing play, we were talking about what were we talking about that? I'm like, let's just continue this conversation. Dia's genes, the, oh, right. the gene, the gene industry. We're talking about the gene industry and how it needs work. Like there are two industries that I'm like, are we, are we 2022? The gene industry, people are struggling to find a good pair of jeans right now. Um, and hey, then wait. there's the, uh, let's, let's back it up here. Who, okay. who, okay. Do we think that maybe you're thinking of just your, your experience and then putting it into the whole world? I feel like oh, I, I hear that a lot. Like people are like, if you want to go shop for jeans, you need a couple hours and no one with you. Oh, I agree with that. I think it's just like, I agree with that. I agree with you that. You see what I mean? I, I, of oh. course there are jeans out there that, that fit my body. I just feel like it takes a long time. I agree. I agree. That's what I mean. It's like a shirt. You're shopping for a shirt. Easy. I see what you're saying. Um, but anyways, I would love to try Khloe Kardashian's good American jeans. Okay. So I signed up for their email subscriber list and I'm Tell getting everything. their emails all the time Yeah, and they look amazing. I know. I just have not been able to press play. <laughs> I haven't been able to press go check out whatever. Speaking of this, I've ordered a few dresses from Sheen um, and they're supposed to arrive this week and I am excited. I don't have trouble pressing checkout for Sheen though. Do that. Uh, but anyways, I, uh, yeah. And, and again, it's because it's jeans. Like what are the odds that these jeans are going to fit me at all the right places? But I am definitely made like the, the, the good American model. You are a Kardashian, like that booty it's Kardashian. Yeah. The waist and the booty is, is definitely at that level. So I'm like, I, I understand that I'm, I'm tempted. I also do not want to return anything. I, I feel that, but certain places have good, easy return policies. I feel like good American would be one of them. I agree because they only have online. Do they have like a store? Good American. She good did American like a deal with a few places actually where she had it in person. Like I think it was at H and M. Bello. Okay, but it I wasn't mean, at every H and M, right? It would have been just at the bigger H and M's. You have to be chosen. Like Taylor Swift. They have did that you in know? Toronto. Yeah, like go check. But did you know that for Taylor Swift's tickets? You have to be chosen. That is how popular she is. Not everyone can just like go on Ticketmaster and buy a ticket. You have to apply and then you get chosen. And then they sent, so we got chosen for the tickets. Like, so we have to apply for like, I want tickets for Boston. And so we applied and then we decided we're not going to Boston because Jeff has a thing with the queen. Um, oh, not the queen. She died. The princess. <laughs> um, did you see that post someone posted? Is there still uh, La Fête de la Reine next year, 2023, now that she has died? Someone posted that on the internet. And I'm like, that's a legit question, but I'm pretty sure they're just going to change it to like, what is it called? Is it like, en français, c'est La Fête de la Reine. C'est la weekend de La Fête de la Reine. What would it be en anglais? Fête, like the her birthday? Yeah, like c'est La Fête de la Reine. 
I'm assuming we're not celebrating her birthday anymore. No, but is it even her birthday? Like, oh, you know I don't I know. Mean? I don't know either. I don't know how that's going to work. Okay. So at the end of the day, this was a good question on the internet. I should have forwarded to Jeff. It's Did you see late. Jeff's post? I almost commented. Did you see Jeff's post about like, obviously Ukraine and Russia? And I'm like, I wanted to comment like, 97.9% of the people that are your friends on Facebook do not understand <laughs> what this post is about. <laughs> like it was like great day for Ukraine and like this explanation. And then this picture, there was a picture, there's like a map. And I was like, wait, I need to show you. And I forgot to make fun of it. But then I was like, oh, his army buddies we might are... be there. And I didn't want to like insult anyone okay. like because yes. like, I don't know what what is put a little put a little yes. politically correct but I wanted to yes. be like no one understands what you're saying yeah he friggin deleted it so probably realized no one really knew what was happening no one uh speaking of Jeff and funny things uh every once in a while he comments on some of my Instagram stories and it's always funny so oh, yesterday great. I was like super excited about my new leafy gain cookies. And I was like, what is better than leafy gain? Like what is better than protein cookies being delivered to your door? And he just sent a steak emoji. <laughs> 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 no words, just steak emoji. <laughs> what did he answer me last night? I sent a message. I said, is Dia asleep? Because sometimes on Mondays I like make it home back by 8 30 but they've been exhausted because of time change still um like noah woke up at 7 15 this morning like they're just like kind of like they're all over the place anyways okay. and i said wait where is it oh wait okay yeah i'm like dia said you couché it's like 8 35 right i'm like late because of whatever i was talking to people at the studio he goes bad we sit by a nightclub you said like it's a, this is not a nightclub over here i'm like it's 8 35 <laughs> like, like his answers like Oh, okay. So uh, it's better than Neil. This is thumbs how Neil up. answers. <laughs> thumbs up. No, Jeff is not a thumbs up. It's sarcasm or like just pure, like just rude. Which just I, like, I love. I love, yeah. love, love all his sarcastic rudeness. Yeah. Um, it's something. <laughs> okay. We're all over it and I love it so much right yeah. now. Yeah. So good American jeans. Wonder if there's anywhere we can buy a pair in Toronto. Okay. Yes. Did you check? And also you guys, they, oh, and Alicia, they had this like one piece jean suit. I think I would Ooh. rock a one piece okay. jeans. Now we're going a little crazy. Cause we need to first see if we can, I, like jeans are hard enough. And then, uh, uh when you're five, nine, getting a jumpsuit yeah. that doesn't go up your yes. vagine. Absolutely. I see what you're saying. Um, but that their models seem so tall. I feel like the Kardashians are tall. So they're like making it for their people. I don't know. Chloe um, is, but the, like Kim is tiny tiny but chloe is tall i think she's five nine i don't know, um, I don't know. um anyways i'm getting their emails all the time i just subscribed to their email list oh their yeah. bathing suits look good too yeah it's just jean on jean same kind of jean on jean on jean like their pictures oh good swim always fits yeah, yeah they no. look amazing yeah no it's it's going well for them I'm, I'm really happy for them i knew they were like probably struggling so guys, if you have some feedback for us on good American jeans, um, we would love to have some information on this like, topic. Like they have like body suits, like it's like something you guys. Yes. Like, the Okay. Body suits. I feel like I also, while we're purchasing things from Kardashians, I feel like I want skims. Okay. I see. I think like, I want Spanx pants. Did you see those? Yes. Well? Do you follow Spanx? Yes. See, like their bodysuit is $150. I know. It's difficult for me to press play. I know. I, really I love how you're pressing play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I just, I cannot, they have a velvet one. Look at this pink velvet one. And then their jeans are so cool. Look at this. Oh, you see like this is cute. Anyways, I feel like, I don't know. It's like, I'm all in or all out. I, I, I'm not sure where I'm at. It's something. The, also. We're not from America. Right. And so the last time I bought something not from America, I said, or not from Canada or something doesn't ship within Canada, I had to pay duty. And that really upset me. Yeah. And that was a lot of duty. I It was a I, lot divorced. of duty. Jeff would have divorced and, me. And then I returned, <laughs> then I returned two of the dresses and I had to pay like 20 some dollars to return the dresses. Mm, see? Nope. What did so you get I'm from like, Zara? 
Yeah. Zara. What did I get from Zara? Yeah. Didn't even remember. Okay. Th- those are the best. Those are the best. It's when you just purchase shit and then they arrive. It's like this one piece suit that I want to wear to. Okay. This, oh my God. So I bought this one piece suit. It is beautiful. It's too big on top, but fits on the bottom. So I'm like, I'm going to go and get it altered. But then I didn't want to ask our alteration lady, Chantal, because it's like clothes. And I'm like, don't take advantage of the fact that like, you know, this alteration lady, you know what I mean? I feel like she does dresses more. I no, I, she would do that. You pay her. That's her job. Yes, exactly. I just felt like, I don't know. It was not, it didn't feel right. So okay. I see this p- new place uh, in Shidyak. The lady was so sweet. Okay. So nice. You guys, you guys are going to like hate me for this, but like, she was so sweet. So nice. She's like, it's going to be 70 something dollars. And I was like, that's not even what I paid for it. So I just like grabbed my thing back. I'm like, do you want your pins? And she's like, <laughs> she's like, no, you can keep the pins. I'm like, I do you want a toonie for the pins? Like wait, I am wait, so sorry. Wait. You're in the thing. You're she's pinned you in it. She has pinned me in it. We are now in a committed relationship. <laughs> like she has zipped me up. She has pinned my body. And and I just like leave. Imagine how <laughs> awkward that is. But like, I could not give her $70. Like I just like could not. So this is me just like, I slide the outfit off of the counter. I'm like, I am just, I just can't give you this is what I said to her. I'm like, you are the sweetest person ever. Like, I am so sorry. <laughs> anyway, so she's like, what was your budget? I'm like, not even budget, just standards. Like, $30 max. Like I just, you know, okay. like I understand because this is like an outfit. That's a cheap outfit. Was it cheap? It wasn't cheap. It was like 75 bucks. So like, I'm not going to double this outfit. I know. I mean, and like, like every- literally no one would notice the difference. Only, okay. uh, you know, like you might be like, if I, if I get it altered, you're like, Ooh, this jumpsuit fits her good. Okay, the okay. other way is like, she looks fine in this jumpsuit. Like, you gotcha. know what I mean? It's not like this is a disaster and this is all or nothing. Gotcha. I, I brought it to my grandmother, everyone. With the pins yeah. in it from the lady. With the pins. So I didn't have to go again. We'll see. She said she's going to do her best. My oh perfect. my goodness. This is amazing. This story is everything. Um, okay. So I don't know who I thought I was when I ordered the Zara order. It was for sure like midnight. Okay. Okay. In what way? Like, as in like, <laughs> where am I going in these okay. outfits? Look Absolutely. at what I wear every single day. Yes. Okay. So here we have a blue velour dress. Ooh, that one. It's really pretty. It's a good length. Okay. I see it. I see it on you. I think this could be good for New Year's Eve. Like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Flared sequins leggings. Oh, we went for the pants, not even the top. Oh, wow. Yeah. Flared sequins leggings. Wow. Maybe I'm wearing this on New Year's Eve. Like you're literally like on the internet and you're like, I am pressing checkout for this. Yep. Wow. I cannot wait to see this on your body. Um, okay. And Again, it's well, not I- like these outfits are great. It's just like, where are you going? It, it, exactly. I think yeah. they all could be New Year's Eve and whichever ones I don't wear, I just return. Yeah, exactly. I think you're like, you're rocking the return game. Like I am not there yet. Honestly, Zara is amazing for returns. It's totally yeah. free. It's so easy. You just print a fucking thing and you go to the post office. Okay. Here yeah. we have last outfit, everyone. A velvet sequin mini dress. You're really into the sequins and mini dress is your jam. I think like that those in this dress. moment, I was shopping for New Year's Eve. This is this is the only thing I can assume. It, I agree. I definitely feel like that. I remembered this Eve. dress. I really rem- I remembered that one. But then when I opened up my order to say that it was on its way, I was like, oh, also ordered sequins pants. Felt the same way about my sheet order. I was like, not sure I ordered that dress, but here it is. It's coming. Uh, hopefully everything fits. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. And I also don't know where I'm going with the outfits I ordered. Like, hey, I want to talk about outfits. I want to talk about my midlife crisis. Okay. Tell us about your midlife crisis. This will be the one about Alicia's midlife crisis. So I'm like having a moment where I think I want to actually get dressed every day. Okay. I like see. what's on your bottoms right now? Like, do you have a pair of jeans on Lulu? No, it's a pair of Lulu's. Yeah. But I feel Zia. like you get dressed. Um, I think you're wrong. You put makeup on your face. Well, it's so simple. 
It's it so really, simple. oh, it really is. Literally with Beauty Counter, your makeup takes three minutes. It looks super fresh, simple, yeah. whatever. Even to the point where I put on makeup and I have another spin class and I might have to do it again. After. Oh, yeah. I think it's like, I'm like, okay, you're going to be on the internet. And I just like, I, I, I yeah. and, and I feel that. And I feel that. And lately I've been showing up and I'm like, Alicia, you're really taking this authentic hideousness really to the next level. No, I, I actually think the opposite. I think you've been putting in so much effort. Like I, I saw you sitting with your green shirt. I was oh. like, she has, she has earrings on. Like, I think that you've been actually upping your game since like, let's say two, three months ago. Like two, three months ago, rarely did you have anything other than a hoodie on. Like, I think you're doing great. I think you're not mm. being um nice enough on of yourself here. And you think those pants, those sequence pants is the answer. <laughs> this is where she's ordering sequence pants yet wants to up her everyday game. But like, that's upping it though. I, I, I see this as well. I'm recognizing that, that like, yeah. it, I, and basically that's my closet. My closet is like, we're going out. Or we're wearing Lulu. I know. So when I purchased this yesterday, I think I like need uh, like, and I'm like, Jose, you have so many sweatshirts, like so many cute sweatshirts are already in your um, closet, but I think the zipper makes it a little fancier. I think the, I'm like maybe changing my colors a little bit because like when I looked at the thing, it's all like bright pink and like, and I don't know if it's, that's what's happening right now. Um, I literally have 10 pairs of jeans yet still think I don't have jeans still pick the same ones. And mm -hmm. like, it's like, but I have a lot of jeans. Mm -hmm. Um, also the fact that it's minus 17 is disgusting. It's minus 17. No, but I like, as in it's oh, really cold. Yeah. It, I like, uh, yesterday I drove Phoebe to, uh, Tumblr. Here. So I was outside of the house and I'm like, this is unacceptable. It's I, so dark. It's so cold. Yeah. Now I, um, really honestly, uh, every November, this is the moment I have where I question living in New Brunswick. Yeah. I really do. You guys, um, I would never question living anywhere else in the summer because it's a beautiful, like it's a touristy, it, it, it gives me everything I need in the summer, but honestly in the winter, I just, I, I am really not at my best, um, in November, December, January, February, March. Yeah. Like definitely uh, willing to be somewhere else. <sighs> I know it's not going to happen. I mean, this is where we were born and this is what has happened to us, but I am definitely ready for like sunshine. But then I'm like, I don't know. Like it's Jeff. I was telling Jeff, I'm like, oh my God, doesn't it feel so exciting that we're leaving you guys actually, as you're watching this uh, or listening to this, we're leaving in two days for Florida. And um, we usually don't go to Florida in November or December. Sorry. So I like, I'm like, doesn't it feel so good? Like, isn't it time? And Jeff was like, it was literally summer two months ago. Like, no. And I'm like, He's there's so something rational. wrong with me. Yeah. There's something wrong with me, but I'm like, I am ready for beach, uh, sunshine, warmth. And I, we're, we might not even get that um, because it's still Florida and it's still December, but like, I'm like, it's better than here. Like it's not minus 10, uh, but still I'm like, I would be willing to be the mix in Mexico. No? Like I like, I'm like, oh my God, the sunshine, how good it feels. Yeah. It definitely changes the game. It's just like, I do not want to leave my home when, yeah. like, when it's dark, I do not want to leave my home. I agree. Okay. Tell us more about like, so you're flirting with what? Uh, changing your wardrobe like are you like is it because you don't like what's in your wardrobe or just like putting in that effort because you have really nice tops though like you you know what oh, I mean? it's the like, effort step one is the effort, effort um yeah. it, it there's there's so much going on Jose these are all really good questions I also like have a moment where I want to just like chop my hair I'm just yes. like so thick of how much work it is to try and keep my hair healthy and I it doesn't even make sense to me like I don't even I, I never do my hair I dye my hair twice a year but no, you go dye your hair like well, every, I do my roots, roots. But like, okay, that, that's done. That doesn't damage my hair. Like when I had just black oh, hair, my I hair see was what you're so saying. healthy. Okay. You're talking about the fact that you have to take care of it and you only dye your hair. I see what you're saying. The blonde. Yes. I see the, what you're like, saying. like lighterness. And like, I, how much, how often do I put heat in my hair? Like once a week? Yeah. Yeah. And I think what happened is you went from literally no maintenance like with your black hair, you had no maintenance. Your hair was so healthy. Like, you know what I mean? You didn't have to like think about anything. No. And then 
this, this new, uh, journey. And like, I went through it, but I like, I love my hair way more than black, but like, maybe you're like questioning, you know what I mean? Is like it. And, and I'm at the point, remember how you were like this when you had black hair that you were like, yeah, "Yeah, but I, I, I only like it every once in a while. Like it's like, you know what I mean? It's like not pretty all the time. If it was pretty all the time and I had to do makeup, no problem. Right. You right. know what I mean? Yes, I do see what you mean. Um, I mean, it's, I, I, I don't know. I, it's like these moments where you're like, if you cut it, then it's over. It's you know over. what I mean? Um, you have such good hair though. You know what I mean? But, and you already have it long. So it's either like, do we stay like me? I'm trying to get through the like phase to see if I even like it long and then we'll decide. Um, but I, you already have it long. So depending on how you feel, do, do you think longer is the answer? Do you think, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know to say that it's ridiculous. No, like it's, you obviously have such great, healthy, like thick hair. So like that, like look, and I feel like you're trying things out right now in terms of like changing your look, especially with yeah. those pants that are coming. Yeah. I feel like, <laughs> no, but you are, I think that you're like yeah. getting into this like different look right now. Let's do it. I don't know. Maybe it's not cutting it right there. Maybe it's like, you know, like steps. I and when really- you hit 40, like changes almost a little bit, like I can see it. I see it. I see it. But I'm not saying like, yes, go for it because your hair is beautiful. So like, um, I love the look when it's like so blunt, you know what I mean? It's like a really blunt, but like, am I going to do my hair? You know, it's yeah. The bluntness comes from a straightener. So it's not like, it's like a lot. No, it's not a lot of work. No, I know um, it's more work than I'm currently doing. Yes. Are you enjoying the fact that you can just boop? Know what I mean? You still have to think about it. You're not ready. But uh, that bluntness is literally my dream, blonde. Um, but I don't have enough hair to create the boop. So I like, that's why I'm like kind of jealous of people that do have thick hair and they get that boop look. It's beautiful. Alfie's teacher, gorgeous, that gor- gorgeous. Thick, blonde, eh. Oh. So good. So so good. good. I would definitely do that over long blonde hair because I love that look. I I think it's so chic, but I just don't have enough. It got curls that like, I I don't have enough that it's a hit. It pays it. No, I know what you mean. Yeah, no, it is what it is. Like, it's just what it is. So like, but, um, you definitely can rock both looks. So that's why I can see how this is like, I only have so many like choices. You, you definitely have more choices as someone with thick hair, do you think that it would um, change anything with your grays? Because is that going to become an issue? Or you think that, you know what I mean? This is all, all great questions. The grays are just like, so, so many, so many of them. So yeah. hard. So many, I'm not ready to let it go gray. No, 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 no. We're not ready yet. But then I see people that have let it go gray and it like, like I've seen people that it looks good. I agree. I think that if you ever let it go gray, you probably wouldn't have long hair. Like it wouldn't be a long gray. It would probably be that blunt look. Mm. That could be cool. That could be cool. Um, kind of like sleep, baby sleep. Like every time I see her, I'm just like, mm. oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, it's like letting go of your eyelashes. It's like a commitment to like, let it go. Like there's a point where it's hippo bolo, but like, people know that's what you're doing and, and you just, it's just one day at a time. And then at one point, bam, you get what you wanted. You know what I mean? That's we're doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm getting lot. Eyelashes are gone. Eyelashes are gone. You're doing it. Did yeah. you cancel your next appointment? Mm-hmm. Alicia. Yeah. Wow. You were really ready. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm ready, but then I look in the mirror and I think like, I'm not ready for what I'm going to see soon. Yeah. I just want you to know that it's very uh, hard to look at yourself in the mirror at the first, <laughs> like, it's like, but then you have to remind yourself of why you're doing it. It's like everything else, you guys. It's like everything else. Um, but then, then, then you get that moment where you're like, oh, yes, I did it. And it's over. And like, thank God. You know and like I mean? where, where you're at right now, you're never going to go back to fake eyelashes. Oh, no, no, absolutely not. No, I agree. Um, no, no, no. But I mean, there's no reason to like, you know what I mean? Um, and even then, like all I kept thinking is that meme that Jeff sent me that was so funny. It was like, um, 
uh, it was like men, men, she'd look hotter with longer lashes. And then it's like, no one ever, no man ever, ever has ever thought that about a female. Like I wish he had more lashes or longer lashes. <laughs> um, that made me laugh. And then I was like, that's so true. And then I said that in front of my dad who like, is like just all about or natural. Okay. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, bah, we like, I was like, what is happening on your eyes? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, oh my God, my poor Yeah, daughter. parents are not big fans of eyelash extensions. They are not. Okay, no. I'll say this fun story. So okay. So I, I, this is, we're going back, Jose, to, you're, we're going back, Alicia, to Jose, she's 16, and I pierced my lip. Excuse me? Yeah, I pierced Excuse my lip. Excuse me? Yeah, I just had How do I up. not know this about you? I mean, things happen. So I pierced my lip without asking it was the most painful thing I have but no I mean definitely hey, wait. giving birth it wasn't like a lip ring it was like right here like a stud right like a stud yeah oh my goodness just trying to find myself everyone so if ever your daughter pierces her lip she is not going to like it. This is not bad, you guys. Like, just I have to remind myself of the shit I did. Like, I kissed boys when I was 10. I pierced my lip. I had a tattoo without telling my parents at 16. Like, and I am like not at all like a badass. You know what I mean? Like, it's so it's so funny to me. Like, we just like you have to let your kids just figure shit out, but you can definitely tell them your opinion. So that's what my dad did. He like couldn't even look at me. So here's the thing. This is funny. This actually is a great story. I had such, I was so close with my parents and their opinion is still really important to me. And so even if I was trying to find myself, their opinion was important to me. I did tell my mom about the tattoo. She didn't say anything. She had to sign for it. And so I think I like did, I think I, I think I faked her signature, um, but she knew about it. So like, I felt like I wasn't in trouble and then my dad didn't know, but it's like close to my like vagine. So like he couldn't see it until like I was in a bathing suit until it's like too late. Like it is what it is. Um, and then it, he was fine with that, whatever. And then I pierced my lip and he could not look at me. He didn't talk to me for two days. And I realized that that wasn't worth it to me. So I took it out. Are you listening? I took it out. After two uh, days of my dad not talking to me. I'm still in shock. I'm like still in shock. I know. So anyways, he stopped talking to me. And that was like my standards are that like, no, my parents, like my parents, like opinion is more important to me than whatever I'm going through. So like, it was like, fine. Like I took it out and I still have like a tiny, tiny scar that you would see. Like if you actually look, you know, but uh, it only lasted two days. Did you go with someone? I did. With absolutely. Friends. Okay. I feel like you used to have your um, belly button pierced, eh? Yes, belly button pierced for sure. I had that at 13, I think, 13 or 14. Um, I remember when I got in my nose ring, my dad was like, he acted like I got a face tattoo. Okay. Like it was like so dramatic. And I was like 18. Oh, wow. Tiny, tiny, tiny little nose ring. I remember so that. Did I ever see you with it? Oh, yeah. I had it for a long time. I think a nose ring is so pretty. Julie has two of them. It looks yeah. like it's like her, it's also her style. Like it goes yeah. with like her, her look. Yeah. Um, I, I think it looks like really cute. Like, um, and I just, I feel like anyways, it was, that was a part of my story, everyone. Wow. So we went from 16, to, we're going through like the 16 to the 40. We're going through the whole thing. What are we cutting? <laughs> what are we removing? What are we piercing? We don't know. What are we buying? We do not know, know you guys. I'd be, I'd be open to a like a nose ring right now. Oh my gosh. Should we get something pierced in Toronto? <gasps> Should we get a tattoo in Toronto? Sure. I wonder if you can just walk in and get tattoos probably in a big city like Toronto. Oh my God, you guys. So as you're watching this, we're back from Toronto though. Um, but uh, next podcast, so on Thursday, it will be just about our Toronto trip and and we'll see what we have to say and how amazing that was. Hopefully you followed our journey this weekend. Okay, everyone. Uh, I mean, this was enough. I don't know. We talked about nothing but all the things you guys learned so much about us. Uh, we love you. We appreciate you. Don't forget, cookbook is for sale, but obviously we want you to become a member because that's ridiculous. It's have just a better value. Yeah, exactly. Have a great day, you guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye.